Here in Missouri and Kansas, we are used to severe weather, winter weather, even flooding. But what about earthquakes? You would think, oh, this is just a West Coast thing. It actually can happen here in Northwest Missouri and Northeast Kansas. And today I'm happy to have Jeff Briggs from the Missouri State Emergency Management Agency. He is an earthquake program manager. He's going to talk about the earthquake shakeout that is happening this week and earthquake safety. Jeff, thanks for joining us today. Happy to be with you. So let's first talk about the risk of earthquakes here in Missouri, especially in the Foothill. You bet. The New Madrid Seismic Zone, perhaps uh, you or your listeners have heard of it, the largest uh, active earthquake zone in the U.S. east of the Rocky Mountains. There are more than 200 measurable earthquakes that happen in that area every year. Now, a lot of those are too small to be felt, but it is an active seismic zone, which uh, concerns us. And it's also important because not only is it active, there's a history of very large earthquakes that happened down at the Boot Hill. A little over 200 years ago are the, are the biggest examples. There were a series of at least three earthquakes over a magnitude seven, which is a measurement that indicates they were enormous earthquakes, so big that they actually uh, caused the Mississippi River to run backward temporarily. They changed the geography down there. Fortunately, there weren't a lot of people living there then, but there are millions of people in the impact zone now, including the St. Louis area. So that's very, it's very important for us, and we really focus on it here at the uh, Emergency Management Agency, because if these earthquakes were to happen again at that magnitude, it's going to be the largest and the most damaging natural disaster this state has ever seen. So it's certainly something we focus on. And the other thing about it is that although the New Madrid seismic zone historically is the largest risk, there are risks in other areas as well. Perhaps you or your listeners have felt some shaking from what's been going on in recent years in Oklahoma and in, uh, and in South Central Kansas. There are other earthquake zones as well that can be damaging. So it's something we really talk about and focus on and we encourage people to prepare for that earthquake risk. And you know, there's this famous phase that I have heard when it comes to earthquakes, drop, cover, hold on. Is that the number one safety word when it comes to earthquake safety, Jeff? Yep, I'm glad you mentioned that. Drop, cover, hold on is an important phrase to remember. The thing about earthquakes is, unlike other natural disasters, they cannot be predicted. I mean, you know better than anybody about uh, giving people advance warning for tornadoes. We know when winter weather, when flooding is coming. No one knows when an earthquake's going to happen. You're going to find out when the shaking starts. So you've got to prepare. You've got to know what to do now so that you can be ready. Um, it's all about avoiding falling debris. That's what's going to injure or even kill people. So we tell people to drop, cover, and hold on. That means don't run around when the shaking starts because you're exposing yourself to that falling debris. Drop to the ground and cover yourself up. Cover your head with your arms and your hands to protect yourself from that debris. If you can crawl under a table or a desk, that is ideal. That's the best way to protect yourself. But regardless, drop to the ground, cover, and then hold on to whatever's protecting you from debris until the shaking stops. If we can get everybody to be aware of drop, cover, hold on, and know to do it when the shaking starts, we will absolutely save lives. Well, let's hope we never have to, Jeff, but it's always better to know and be prepared. Thank you so much for joining us today, Jeff. We really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it.